Hello again uh, to Significance of Miriam Ring 3. A uh, few more thoughts for you, or maybe from you. One in particular. What about Mary Magdalene? I am well aware that a lot of you will already have invested much into knowing Mary Magdalene and all that she brought to Jesus in his mission and how much she may herself have been ignored. Many would like to see her as the symbolic answer for all of womankind's grievances with male orthodoxy. You may feel that you do not need Miriam. My task is to allay your fears, show how well they worked together. Between them, they caused a massive impact on the scene around Jesus. Magdalene first, on the rights of women to be a part of Jesus' close circle, Miriam soon after, as an inspirational boost, singing the old and new songs by Jesus' side. Miriam, his companion, and Magdalene close beside. I also do feel a connection to Magdalene which is how these books got written. She narrates them. Although I had an idea where the story was headed from the start, I had no idea how it would happen. I was continually surprised by where it went, what characters appeared, and all sorts of things, which made it really fun to write, like being taken along for the ride. Magdalene became the closest friend of Miriam and the very best person to relate the story. They wrote their gospel together, which makes sense when you read it, Miriam being written about as in the third person. For me, it will be a very great pleasure to read The Path Magdalene, which is already on Kindle, but to do it here on YouTube for you, next week and week by week. It was hard to write really descriptively, not knowing all the detailed environments, etc. But the feeling is true. I was conscious that it should fit into the world as it was then, and any mistakes in that respect are all mine. Do I believe in these two women? Absolutely and Mother Mary, and your Esmond, and many others here for you to find. So, I am hoping that it will get published this year in paper. It's a great, a great hope, and I hope that you uh, watching this may have a part in this, whether you a reader or whatever. Um, and you may also say, is this, is this, doesn't this detract? Are you trying to detract from Jesus himself in, in writing this about the divine feminine and so forth? And, and the answer, absolutely not. It, quite the reverse. This is to add to that story. His story that he's, his coming made this happen. His work made this this possible for many hundreds of millions of people the story to happen for them. And um, this is hopefully to just add a little bit to that. And today, what about today? Does everything change? Yes, everything's always changing, and particularly today, a, a sea change in in ages, you could say, and yet nothing changes. The the the, real, the, the truth in it never changes; is always the same. But the real change that's happening today is that we're a part of it. You are a part of it. We're a part of the story. The story goes on, and that is the amazing thing. So I hope you enjoy it. Oh, we all enjoy it. So, 
See you soon. Bye.